trip went awesome. I uh, really had a great experience, something I'll never forget for the rest of my life. Saw a lot of uh, really cool things and really sad things and met a lot of really awesome people. What's the biggest lesson you'll take back from that trip? Definitely uh, just not to take anything for granted, you know, uh, just the th little things every day, you know, that we have like water and a place to sleep, you know, we take for granted. Uh, whereas a lot of people down there have lost their families, their homes and, uh, you know, everything. And it's just, it really just puts things in perspective, you know, as far as how fortunate we are uh, over here and how, how just the, the little things that we take for granted. Does it make you a better football player in any way? Uh, definitely. You know, it's, it, uh, you know, it, it inspires you to work harder and, you know, all the little stuff I worry about, you know, about football practice. I mean, it, you know, it really is it's small in the grand scheme of things compared to, you know, these people over here battling for their lives. And, you know, I'm just battling for, you know, a, uh, a good a good spot. I'm guessing that before you went over there, you maybe had a vision in your mind or visions about what it would be like. Talk about the difference between that and when you actually saw it or, or did what you did. Right. Well, I had an idea what it would be like, but there's really no way to, to fully understand um, just the loss that people have experienced over there until you see it. Um, the, one of the most sad things I saw is there's just fields full of tents um, where people live, and they're called tent cities. Uh, you know, because everyone's houses are condemned, or you know, uh, t you know, in a big pile of rocks, and so people have to live in, in fields and tents. And it's just, you know, it's just really sad, and it's just really, it's really the pictures. You know, you can look at the pictures, but until you really see the you know some of the dep depravity over there. It's it's hard to it's hard to know until you see it for yourself. What were your what were your living conditions like while you were there? And talk about that whole experience. Uh, well, we you know we we were fine. Um, we uh, the ride over was a little rough. We had to ride about eight hours in the back of a, back of a truck, um, but you know we made it. And uh, when we were there, we we slept. You know, kind of just like in a sleeping bag on a on like a little piece of plywood. You know, it wasn't bad and uh, ate a lot of rice and beans and goat meat so it, it really wasn't bad we had a lot, we had plenty of water which was good we had a lot of, we had imported water because we couldn't drink the water just because you know their bodies are used to it but you know we would if we drank it we would feel it so you say the back of the truck you're talking about the bed of a truck i'm talking about the back seat of the truck well yes i'm talking about outside uh it was it was kind of like a a landscaping truck it's like two two seater in the front and then it had a big bed in the back with a kind of like a four foot fence all the way around it you know something like you'd see the landscapers have and we rode in that and we had nine you know ten bags and nine people in the back so it was it was a exciting ride to say the least how's practice been since you've been back it's been great um you know we're getting a lot better uh we're working really hard and you know we got a lot of we got a long ways to go but i feel like we're really working hard and making some progress what are some of the things that you guys are hoping to get out of this scrimmage on Friday? Um, you know, we're just working to improve it and and everything. Uh, we want to continue to get better on third down, something that the offense is, is specifically targeting, and uh, just keep, you know, being sound in our fundamentals and uh, work on our communication. You know, uh, we got a lot, we got a couple new guys in there, and you know, it's uh, scrimmages are good because it's a game-like situation, you know, and things are happening a lot faster than they are in practice. So. Uh, it's good for us just to, um, you know, get those new guys, you know, kind of, uh, I guess, accustomed to what's going to, you know, ha happen in the game, sort of. You going to see a lot of those guys head swirling come Friday? <laughs> uh, we'll see. Uh, hopefully, I, I think, I think they're, hopefully they're ready. So we'll see. Can you talk about just this year being a little different in that uh, the shoes on the other foot, the offense, you know, you guys are the ones returning all the starters, have the experience, have been there, whereas the defense is, has the question marks this year. Um, well, we know we have a lot of guys back from last year, but at the same time, you know, we, we don't want to be satisfied. Um, you know, we got a lot of areas where we can improve on offense. Um, defense, you know, they have a lot of young players who are, are filling those spots extremely well and are working extremely hard. So um, I think you're going to see a lot of guys step up and answer those question marks. And, uh, you know, as far as offense, you know, we're excited with the potential we have, but, you know, we got a long way to, to, to go as far as reaching that potential. Coach was in here earlier. He was talking about how much he likes to shuffle you guys around at this point and have everybody playing everywhere. What does that do to you as a player? Does it make it harder? Are you constantly thinking, or is it good? Well, it's. I think it's it's good because it helps you um, learn the offense better. Um, you know, it's as far as offensive linemen. You know, when you know every spot, 
it just really helps the cohesiveness cohesiveness of the unit just to kind of know exactly what's going on in every position. You know, it's one thing to know what you're doing, but it's another thing to know what all five guys are doing. And that's really what we want to do is each guy know what all five guys are doing. That way we'll, we'll be sure we don't make any mental errors. Then talk about having um, William Lejos out just for this whole spring and you know, moving guys into that place. Right. Well, uh, David's really stepped up and done a good job. Uh, you know, I miss William. I, I love William. And uh, we had a, a great great time playing last year together, but uh, David's done a great job stepping up and filling that role. So, uh, you know, yeah.